vertigo.com. You're watching WGN Morning News at 8. Time now for Ron Town. Anna is hanging out with extreme pogo stickers in the backyard. Are you going to do it, Anna? Did you, did you say stickers? Stickers. Stickers. Man. I'm here <laughs> sitting with Brian in a forklift. Enough said. And he said that he was going to sit on the safe side or the dangerous side. Well, I'm on the safe side. You're on the dangerous side. Oh, great. Let's see what Dan can do. Oh, God. Hold me, Brian. I didn't even have to tell. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Cool. Really neat. When we come back, we'll tell you more about Pogapalooza and what these guys are doing down Route 66 on their way to California. Coming up around town. You're watching Chicago's very own WGN News with Larry Potash, Robin Baumgartner, Paul Conrad with weather, Valerie Warner with traffic, Pat Tomasudo with sports, and Dean Richards with entertainment. This is WGN Morning News at 8. Seven or eight feet in the air. So what are you doing once you leave uh, Chicago? You're going to hit Route 66, and what's going to happen? Well, we're going to try. I'm predicting that we're going to get lost along the way a few <laughs> times. But uh, no, PlanetX.TV, what we're looking for is um, all the random kind of unique sports around the world, what we call Lozar, the League of Sports and Recreation, we're recruiting for. So if you know any sports like underwater hockey, for example, which we profiled Deeper. last week, uh -huh. <laughs> believe it or not, mm -hmm. uh, we're trying to legitimize the sports that require more support. More support, and pogo sticking requires more support. <laughs> yeah, so far it does, but I think we're right on the cusp of uh, legitimization, if that's a word. Yeah, and I love it because they're all, are they all teenagers or what's the age range? Well, I'm an old fart, but uh, these guys, <laughs> Daniel from Canada is six, uh -huh. 16 years old. Mm -hmm. And um, actually the kid that won the best, uh, the street, mm -hmm. bigger street competition on Saturday mm -hmm. at Pogopalooza in Pittsburgh. Yeah. He was 15 years old, a kid from Burley, Idaho mm -hmm. named Biff Hutchinson. Really cool kid and he just killed it. So the, the youngsters are obviously very athletic and they love doing this kind of stuff. But um, old farts like myself can still bounce around a little bit too. Uh, yeah, I, I know you can. I know you can. All right, well, if you need more information about what these folks are doing, you can text us at around town. We'll be right back with more during the 8 o'clock hour. I think they're going to try and break a world record again. Yeah, we're we're going to do it right out here by the circle. Yeah. Back uh, to you how guys. How do you say chicken in Spanish again there, uh, Anna? <laughs> you should grab yourself a helmet. We have one hour left. Come on, step it up. Yo no necesito esta estupidez. <laughs> Vertigo Pogo Sticks are big air sprays, so air gets you air. You're fighting gravity. That's one of the most pleasurable things that a human can do, I think. When you're weightless, it just feels good. Bouncing down the street, six feet in the air, just going zing, zing. It's a different animal. Vertigo.com.